Charlie, are Tennessee fans uh, keeping an eye on Georgia? They've struggled for two consecutive yeah. weeks. The, the Kent State situation, I didn't see one play of that except maybe a couple of highlights while I was watching other games. I never took that seriously, even though it was interesting to see that it was a close score for a while. But the Missouri game, I checked in. I kept seeing the score. It was never on my radar early in the evening to be watching Georgia-Missouri. And then it got into the second half, and I thought, I got to check this game out. So I pretty much watched, uh, you know, mid-third quarter on. And, you know, it was a legitimate Missouri outplaying Georgia for much of the game. Could have won the game. Yeah, I I basically did exactly what you did. I ignored it until about a, the third-ish quarter, and it started getting real where you were like, wow, Georgia is not coming back. How is this happening? Um, and I think they have very real problems on offense. Uh, I, I said it from the beginning. I mean, you just... Story with Stetson Bennett is great. I think he's a product of the players around him, and that is a factor. And Kirby runs this antiquated 1990s offense that just, oh, we're going to run it down your throat. Well, what happens when the other team has a really good defensive line? And and Missouri just stepped up. They just, they just That defensive line really played well. And then their kicker was making 60 yarders. It was just crazy. Um, but ultimately, they just outlast them with depth and talent. But uh, yeah, I've absolutely been watching this because here's a wild scenario for you. <laughs> Tennessee wins this week against LSU, goes 5-0. and You can lose to Alabama, and if you don't lose again after that, the Georgia game will be for the SEC East. <laughs> so uh, that's real. I mean, that is real life. If you only lose to Alabama until the Georgia game, that's for the SEC East. You're playing for an SEC championship bid. I, if that doesn't blow your mind, I mean, maybe people don't know the context of what happened to Tennessee in the last few years, but if that does not blow your mind as a scenario that is that real, I, I don't know what will. I Because in no way, I, I thought Tennessee was going to have like eight win season this year, build on what you did last year, but you still just, you have such a deficit in terms of depth and things like that. Uh, and here you are, 4-0, and and you win in Death Valley, and the scenario is very real where your only loss is to Alabama and you go into the Georgia game playing for an SEC's title. Like, I, I, I can't believe that. I can't believe that's actually real, but that is the scenario. And so, um, I, I mean, yeah, you better be watching them really closely, especially if you win this this weekend. That's that's pretty wild. And um, I, but I'm I'm sure they got amazing talent over there still. They'll they'll get it together. Yeah, so Kentucky loses their first game uh, at Ole Miss. Uh, that was an interesting game and an exciting game for a low-scoring game. And, uh, yeah, Alabama's coming up next week or after, uh, yeah, LSU. And, uh, you know, teams like South Carolina aren't as good as we thought that they might be. Um, they're not looking good. Yeah, interesting scenario there. 